It's all it's right all to right. be just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. vibration. With, that With that in mind, mind you should understand, understand God's, God's completely God's insane. <laughs>
How can we continue in this direction? I would say that what I'm experiencing is a wave of compassion that is that is blowing me over. I feel it. I feel it to the point where it lifted me beyond my negativity. That's what I would say. And that's a place that not many people thought I'd ever get. I didn't want to be negative. I tried hard to oppose that. But my negativity came from my understanding that this isn't the way we were meant to be. That this isn't how we were meant to treat each other. That there had to be more love, there had to be more joy, there had to be more laughter. And when you know something so certainly, in your heart of hearts, when you know it in the deepest core of your beingness, and everybody outside of you is telling you to get serious, to get straight, to straighten up and align with what is already existing in the physical, well, what are you to do? Huh? What are you to do with your true nature, with who you really are? How do you keep that down? How do you hold that in? How do you allow anybody else in this human experience to dictate who you should be? I'm not just talking about me, I'm talking to each and every one of you. Don't do it. Don't give up who you truly are to appease some state of being that was defined by somebody else that doesn't know you at all. You can't continue to follow these restrictive ways of living because some intellectually inclined human egos think they know how people are supposed to be. Resentment mm. toward humanity in the way that it is just giving in to this negative self-destructive way of being. That's what I see. If you're willing to accept what is in this world right now, then you are creating more of the same. That's what I want to say. It's up to you. You're there. You're there right now. If you don't do the work, who's going to? We're here to bring joy. We're bring, here to bring each other a sense of connectedness, oneness, and unity. And I can only do so much as a human being. I gave my effort everywhere that I could. I did what I could with what I had to work with, and that's what I want people to know. It's not so easy on the inside. What you see on the outside is never the full story, people. Never the full story. And I know that. I always knew that. I knew I had to do what I could do. It's something I knew. How do I know that? I don't know. You don't know. You know there are things you know about who you are and what you need to be or do that you don't know how or why. I could give you a million logical reasons why, but I'm not going to. I don't want to justify or validate any intellectual interpretation of the inclination of my soul. This is what I felt I needed to do as the soul that I was having the experience that I am and of bringing your attention to the pain that's going on in this society because of the rigidity of the structure of this society got to change. There needs to be flexibility. There needs to be freedom for people to be who they know they are here to be, not what everybody else thinks they should be, for whatever other reason. This isn't about that. So wake up, people. Don't miss another minute of this glorious experience, losing yourself in some e egotistical interpretation of what you think would make you look good to others. Unfortunately, that human aspect of me continually questioned if it was enough. I thought I'd make a bigger wave. I thought I'd have a bigger impact on the direction this society took. I thought I really could change the world. I really thought I could help people find compassion in their hearts and a sense of connection between all human beings. I kept trying and trying to reach people in different ways, in whatever way that I could. And I guess what I wanted was the validation in some human way. Or I could say, well, yeah, I did that. Look, that society changed because of me. I couldn't see it. Oh, yes, now I see it. Now I see it in a big way. I did more than my share. I'll say that now. Isn't it? Isn't it sad 
that my humanness wouldn't allow me to recognize that. And that humanness that I'm speaking of is the part of me that was inundated with this intellectual interpretation of what it meant to be successful, of what it meant to be appreciated, of what it meant to bring value. Oh, it's all there. It's so inconsistent what we interpret as true wealth. I knew I felt it every time I brought joy to somebody. Why couldn't that be enough for the human part of me? I felt it in my soul. I felt the oneness and the unity. It couldn't be enough because logic wouldn't let it. Because there's a pervasive intellectual energy in this society now that is trying desperately to remain in control. To remain the director of the human experience. But what I say is that's not going to be. That they might as well put down their weapons now for they've already lost the battle. What I see now, which is an inclination in the human collective to be free, to be free from this oppressive way of existing that limits our ability to be free. Why is it not serious enough? Why is it not practical enough? Why can't we create a society that allows that to be more than enough? be all that we need? Why do people have to feel that they have to put their gifts to the side and get serious first and maybe find some spare time to play with their gifts? Why does anyone think that's the way we intended to be here as human beings? I can only say, I can only hope that what I see in the energy is true, that I, what I see in the deeper parts of soul is that desire to change the way we live, to change what we allow to affect how we are, who we are. I can say that it is a wondrous journey, no matter what they say, desire to change the way we live, freedom from being judged, as not living the way I'm supposed to be living, as not being who I'm supposed to be being, as not acting on the way I'm supposed to be acting, the freedom that I am exactly who I am, who I meant to be, compassion, gratitude for the joy I allowed so many to experience, for I see now how little joy there is in this life, and how people actually feel that they're not entitled to it. That they're only entitled to tiny little doses of it every once in a while. Well, I'll tell you something. It's necessary for your livelihood. It's necessary for your health and well-being. We need to laugh often, daily, if not moment, um, every moment. Well, I guess I would say there are two things you can learn from my life. One is how important it is to laugh. How important it is to be true to the side of you inside that knows that laughter is what life is all about. And the other is the obvious one, isn't it? It's what all you intellectuals are saying, that you just can't judge a person from what you see on the outside. And it's easy to create a facade in this environment that people will buy into because they want to buy into it. Because it fits. Because it looks accommodating. So my, my inspirational message here today is laugh. Let yourself laugh. Remind yourself of how important it is to find joy in this. Remind yourself that there's nothing more important Nothing more important than letting yourself be who you know you are, regardless of what others tell you you should be. It seems like the theme of the moment in the human experience right now. 